So, um, hey everybody, this is uh, an intake, uh, the Torker 2 from Edelbrock that I just recently got. Got it for 80 bucks. As you can see, I wanted to show the condition it's in when I got it. Um, they basically look like that. Once they're used, all these aluminum intakes are going to look like that. Uh, it was stock, but I am obviously going to gonna port it. And I've, I've read that this is like an average single plane. So I got a four hole spacer that should be here probably later, later on today. And this should improve throttle response um, off idle. And uh, just let me show show everybody what it looks like. I believe this is the stock side. Oops. Here's the stock side. You can see it. Very small. And then you can see this one. Let's say close to finish and this one I'm getting close. You can see there's a difference already from stock to ported. And uh, that way everybody gets a gets a a good look at what what you can do. Obviously that's better, much better than stock. Because even though stock they might look good, as you can see I'm also gonna give it a burr finish so that way that way I can do everything I can to try to improve uh, on the torque or two. Maybe that's better. <clears throat> give you an idea what ported and stock look a lot it looks like. They're stock and there's yeah I would say maybe gasket match port matched you do want to remove the casting flash so it's probably one of the bigger things you want to do is remove all of that junk or gunk and then this wall right here is you want to make that thin you can see that once i took my scratch all um you know i scribed the line this is probably the easiest one to see there's one right here at the bottom i'll take off very little here and i'm really going to take off a lot of material here because on this side and this side that's the fast side so that's what feeds into the cylinder wall side on the heads so right here on the common wall take off a lot of material here take off a lot of material here more than I would on this side or this side okay so right here that's where I would make it real a lot thinner okay so holding the phone and and porting this is not so easy so I'm gonna just you know show some progress but <clears throat> more or less let me turn off my light <clears throat> so I want to show a little bit of progress um, there you go so not a lot of light, but you might be able to tell now that there's a difference. Um, and I forgot to show this, but you see you could take a, a snap gauge and use a snap gauge to, to gauge your progress, right? So you could use a snap gauge, especially for your do-it-yourself uh, type like myself you don't have a flow bench but you still want to improve upon what Edelbrock or Wind or I don't know uh, Holly or whoever else AFR what they did uh, with production so uh, I'm still going to make this thinner you see that I'm working on this common wall here I'm working on this common wall here because again this is where the high flow side uh, is on the heads on the cylinder wall side the cylinder wall side is what gets you your your gets you your power and so we want to make sure that we have all 
um, modify this part more than anything is modify that make it taller and make it wider and then also make this uh, common wall a lot thinner so uh, there you go so basically I would say you want your ports to look something like that on your intake manifold this one let's see where is it? right here this one and this one are my ported um, worked on have been worked on and these two are bone stock as you can see see it you can see the casting flash you can see that um, they're very small and over here you can see that i've been working on these i'd say they're real close 90 95 percent done and then again I, I like snap gauges especially since i don't have a flow bench i think there's one other person on youtube that doesn't have a flow bench but he gets awesome results so you can too one of the ways i do it is um, the snap gauges another way to measure your ports measure let's say a bowl um, on a cylinder head as you can see uh, pretty close to about the same size Leave a little bit more work on this one but uh, I'll give you the measurement on this uh, for the snap gauge is 1.125 inches and so that's what I'll do with all the ports on this torquer 2 and that way you know i improve upon what edelbrock did and so that way you you know you can have go from this to this and it should result in in the power increase all right thank you for watching hit subscribe hit that like hit the notification button